Uh, thank you for that question, Mark. Um, yeah, uh, it hasn't been uh, an easy um, past couple of weeks, uh, if not days for us. Um, of course, I say this and expect it to be you know, as a disappointment in the cup, uh, being knocked out in the first round of the cup. A huge disappointment from us, you know. Um, we let, we let, let ourselves down, let our supporters down, you know, so it hasn't been an easy time for us. Talking about that, without even dwelling into the cup, what would you put your finger on, say, that apart from missing opportunities, what is it that Kaiser Chiefs needs to go forward? And Nina, as players, apology, yes, we hear you, but fans are saying these players are not taking accountability. These players still get their salaries and get into their athletic cars and drive away and come back the next day training. Are, are players taking, let's just have a serious talk. Are players taking responsibility for what is not happening at Kaiser Chiefs? Uh, when we talk about serious talk and honest conversation, you know, we cannot um, rule out the fact that there are missed opportunities. Um, I cannot stand here and say we are not playing to the best of our abilities, of which is will be, uh, I won't be an honest uh, answer because we are, I feel we are. Uh, you look at uh, our past results in the league, you know, only consider one goal. So that speaks to a positive aspect in our game, which is the You know, and we just need to put the ball in the back of the net. You know, that's one of our opportunities. And I'm, I'm not going to place that responsibility solely on our attackers. Also, as defenders, we need to improve. You know, the height that we have, the quality that we have, in terms of um, converting our set pieces as well. You know, so it, it's a team problem. It's, it's a footballing problem that we are facing. Express uh, how deep and how disappointed we are because that's you know how we are feeling. I cannot put that uh, expression uh, out because uh, I think it's not only me but the entire team is feeling that way. And uh, we understand the magnitude of the loss that we faced over the weekend, how big it was, irrespective of the opponent we play, whether we play anything or not. To us, that's it's a massive loss to the club, to the institution, to the supporters, holistically. You know, we understand, we truly understand. And, we are the first people to take accountability, and I say this with, you know, as as as, as honest as I can say. We might not go on the media and, and say these things on our socials, but we, we take accountability with, with, within ourselves, within our team. You know, that's the way it starts. Uh, we need to be honest with ourselves as players. You know, we need to tell each other the truth, and we've done that. The coaches have done that. Uh, the management have done that, and we are men here. We are young men. Uh, we have. Uh, uh, men who, who are in households here, who are leaders in their own respect in their houses, and they can be honest with each other that they are not doing what they need to do in the club, you know, and we need to improve on that. So, uh, we are taking accountability to answer your question. We are taking full responsibility of the situation that we are facing because, at the end of the day, it's footballing problems. I don't, I don't want to say it's a management problem because they give us everything we need. We just need to go out there and prove for ourselves first, for our families. And the supporters, what we can do when we lose our fans. How do you guys get your time? Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, that's it's, it's a very difficult situation. It's a situation I think no big team wants to find themselves in. No player who plays for a big team wants to find themselves in. Firstly. So, because um, I think each and every one of us comes from a different background within the club, uh, we face different struggles within our footballing journey, which has enabled us to have a certain mindset to such difficult times. And I've faced such times before in my previous clubs, uh, you know, where I had to push through adversity, push through disappointments, failures, not achieving certain things that I needed to achieve within my career. So. You know, it takes a certain level of mental uh, strength and fortitude to, to push past these things, you know. And once you are surrounded by people who share a similar mindset, you know, we come together as a collective and we identify what kind of problems we are facing. And we try and tackle them together as a team and be honest and have honest conversation, like I've mentioned in the previous co uh, question. You know, have honest conversation with each other in terms of what we need to do, what we are not doing, and how we can improve on those things, you know. So I think for us, we, like I said, we've identified that it's a footballing problem that we have and we fix it on the pitch.
teach. And that's what we're focusing on. You know, we try not to dwell on things that are beyond our control, are beyond our scope. Control the controllables and go out there and just continue working and improve it. Even you've played it these colors for ways in the bureaucracy, a game model. Um, coming here, obviously, new environment. Do you feel um, you guys have found some sort of way of playing game model, so to speak? Uh, yeah, when, when Coach Kevin Johnson came in, uh, he clearly showed us how he wants us to play. Uh, I don't think he has had um, enough time for me, in my opinion, of course, it's subject to scrutiny uh, in terms of applying what he really, really wants. Um, but as players, I think we are receiving it very well. And like I said, when you look at our league results ever since we've been here, how we've been playing, how structured we have become as, as a unit from the back going forward. And, you know, it's just those minor things that he's still tweaking, still working on, still trying to, you know, uh, instill in, in the guys. And it's a process for him as well as a coach, you know, as a, as a human being. He's part of a big institution of Kaiser Chiefs where he is expected, irrespective of the game model, irrespective of anything we need to win games. And we, we, we understand that, but sometimes it's not how football works. Uh, you know, it's trial and error and trying getting things right and trying to get his points across eventually in terms of what he really wants. So I just hope that, you know, he gets enough time so that he can, you know, push through and drive through his, his philosophy and he can get the time that he What does he really want? How does he want you to play? He, he wants us to, to, to be free, you know, express ourselves, especially, you know, the skillful guys, uh, play to our strengths. I'm not a, I'm not a tribbler, so I'm not <laughs> tribbling now saying I'm expressing myself. But I understand what he wants uh, from, from us as a defensive unit and how he wants us to support um, the attackers. You know. And for them, it's just to, to give the South Africans good football, you know, move the ball, uh, play through to the middle, go out wide. It's different variations to, to, to his game. It's not uh, a narrow approach or approach where it's stagnant in terms of, OK, an opponent can see what we're trying to do and be predictable. You know. Uh, it may come across as such because, like I say, when there's no results, it's easy to find cracks and holes within the team. But we understand that it's a process for us. We understand what he's trying to do. And when we get it right, hopefully uh, people are going to enjoy watching Kaiser Chiefs play. Yeah. How important is self confidence yourself and your teammates? Try and obviously keep your team the main way you drive it every single day. Does that mean you guys take the care of the quality players? Self-confidence, um, very important. Um, I think, you know, it, it also boils down to, to the individual. Um, you know, I, I cannot speak on how a player motivates themselves, you know, on a day-to-day -day basis in terms of training and games. But it's a very important aspect that one needs to have, I think, not only in football, but in every other field, you know, even in media. You need to be a confident person to even ask me those questions. You, know? you need to be able to express yourself in a proper way. And for us, expressing ourselves in a proper way is for, uh, playing the game of football. And that requires some level of belief in yourself and your ability. So I think that one is a constant improvement from an individual perspective. And once that is right from that perspective on its own, it can contribute to the team's um, performance holistically. So it's a very important aspect. And I think it's more an individual perspective than the team. The immediate assignment is follows. Um, how are you prepared mentally looking at the pressure that has come with the previous weeks, as you said? Yeah, that, that uh, Swallows uh, game coming up, a very crucial game, big W for the club. Uh, of course, we understand we're coming from a disappointing result. We have disappointed ourselves as players, but we need to put that disappointment behind us. We need to focus on what's coming, you know, uh, the derby ahead. We, we need to focus on getting maximum points so that, you know, we can at least, you know, finish as high as possible in the league. That is our focus right now. Um, just take it one game at a time, try and get maximum points in the game. Um, Kevin, just uh, finish up. Um, how have you been Uh, yeah, look, look, my sweetie. Uh, no, look, a fantastic individual.
to encourage him to be a fantastic teammate. Uh, you know, he, he's slowly, you know, getting to where he needs to be in terms of uh, his fitness levels. He's showing it at training, he's working hard, you know. And, you know, I'm really happy for him. I'm really happy to be his teammate and for him to, to be here at his club. And, but yeah, from, from a fitness and conditioning perspective, I think he's ready, you know. He's, he's ready, he can play whenever the coach needs him to play. It's just that at the moment, you know, uh, uh, the partnership that's going on right now is really doing well. So I think when an opportunity for him to come in and, you know, prove his worth and play arises, he will step up to the challenge.